this is Cyanide here. This is part 43 of the uh, Rust Never Sleeps uh, charity, uh, Cancer Society charity build of the Ridge Direct Rod. Uh, since the last video on this build, I've done a few things off camera here. I've, um, see, I've got some of the wiring tied up here. You may or not be able to see it from that angle. I uh, welded a small piece of steel flat bar here on the side of the chassis on the outside. Double sided Velcro and I'm using that as a platform to mount the uh, BC. So the BC is wired up now back here uh, instead of going to be under the cow. I've got the was um, running to the, the electrics, the brains and whatnot. That'll be mounted under the, the cow on the front of the car. I have also put the uh, water pump, RC four drive water pump, onto the front of the V8. Cut the motor leads to length and soldered on the bullet connectors. Uh, what else? Um, Uh, what else we done? Um, that's pretty much it, I do believe. So today I'm going to put the rear panels back on, the recorder panels, the, the trunk area. So this here is going to be mounted onto this again with the electrics in here, and hopefully that's the last time this is mounted. Uh, got an extension lead here for the uh, using the servo controller type leads and what I've got here is this tiny little uh, mail to mail pin uh, adapter and I've removed the center pin so there's no no power coming going through the red uh, from the speed controller because you got to do that when you're using a BC so that's that's plugged straight into the receiver there so the um, Benedini multifunction unit is powered off of um, this here uh, the BC rather than the the ESC built-in BC so what I'm going to attempt to do today definitely I'll get this on because it shouldn't be too much of a drama it's only four bolts, um, lock type them in and all that sort of thing because I don't plan on taking it off again. Then I'll need to think about setting up the wiring to run it along here. Once I've got all this tucked back there, I can put the passenger seat back on. Or I might just leave that to the very end so there's a bit more room for me to get my hands in. Then um, I can do put the cowl back on, insert the, the transmission in the V8 engine and finally mount this. Everything has to remain loose at this stage. Um, in regards to the cowl, the V8 engine and the uh, radiator, getting it all together is a wee bit finicky. So um, I have to kind of get them in place but not bolt them into place so there's, they can jiggle about. Once I get that transmission and motor in, then I'll be able to, to button up the um, radiator and the, the cowl. Uh, it's just, it's just it's a wee bit fiddly, it's just the way it is. When you restrict yourself trying to do things really scale, yeah, you really, you know, it can take some time to, to do the final assembly and try and hide all the electrics. I mean, if I just had a big old pile of stuff here and here, I wouldn't have to fap around with all this stuff, but I'm trying to make it look cool, so and that means hiding the um, RC electrics, and that can be a bit tricky when it comes to um, putting them together. So, yeah, that's what I'll, I will try to film this. I wasn't going to, but I thought I'd give it a go. But no promises, you know, it's um, you guys know what it's like when you're trying to put things together. If I set this up here so it looks good in camera, and it's too much of a nuisance trying to get my hands in here to do up those tiny little M3s. I'll end up picking it up and putting it on my lap or something like that. So uh, just so I can get my eyes and my hands in there. So 
Uh, we'll see how we go. I'll try and film it. But um, like I say, it's fiddly and usually there's a fair bit of cussing and swearing and um, it's just the way it is really. It's not the best fun. But once we get this together, we're on the home straight. It's just detailing and doing the headers from then on. Pretty sure that's what I'll have to do after that. So we're getting real close to a running video. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, we'll get on with it and... Hopefully by end this video, we may just have this thing all put back together. That'd be pretty damn choice. Right, okay, let's go.
so I'm almost there. The uh, battery's died on the camera, so I'm just running this off the mains for a sec. Just got to run the motor wires back through underneath the cowl there, the firewall, and um, pretty much done. Also, this one here has decided it's going to take my chair, so it's a good time for me to go and chill out and do something cows because, well, she needs the chair. And also, you're lucky that I do the uh, fabrication stuff in fast motion because it is a real SOB to put together some of those little screws and there is a lot of cussing and swearing. So yeah, you didn't have to hear any of that. So yeah, not the easiest thing to put together pretty fiddly. So I'll keep on going running these wires through under the air. Uh, I'll just leave a rat's nest in the um, cab area for now. I, I need to make sure I haven't jacked up any of those uh, connections and whatnot. But uh, yeah. Then I can I bet, put the uh, trunk lid on and the doors and we'll have a, a roller of sorts. That's really cool man, I'm excited, I'm, I'm real excited. Alright, next clip we'll have it a wee bit more finished off for you. I'm going to go and charge this uh, camera up. Righto guys, so it's the next day now. Um, I didn't do any more on the uh, build yesterday. Uh, what you'll notice at the moment is uh, I've got all the guts pulled out. Um, it's one of the things I really like about using the, the Velcro tape on the electrics. All of these electrics are, are mounted with Velcro. It means you can, if need be, you can pull it out without too much uh, worries compared to using double-sided foam or double-sided tape. So um, the reason I pulled it out was um, when I was testing uh, the electrics, uh, well, what I was doing is I cut the leads to the uh, brake lights to the correct lengths and crimped on some new connectors to go into the um, multifunction unit here. And um, when I was testing that, I realised the um, motor wasn't turning uh, when I pulled the trigger. So, um, boy, I was uh, sweating bullets, man. Uh, after putting this thing all together, the last thing I wanted to do was have to pull it back down again. I tested all that and it was working. And um, the last thing I want to do is take the motor out of uh, the block. Because that would just mean a complete strip down. So, um, yeah. I wasn't a happy camper. I was cussing and swearing a bit. But, um, you know, you got to walk away, take a breath and, and come back to it. And um, I'm a software tester in my day job so you know once I can get my head straight and get over myself then it's just a case of going through the the process of um, eliminating uh, what it isn't basically and work your way till you find the, the problem so I tried out a, I was having troubles if the, the ESC was um, flipping out on me and blinking and beeping and carrying on so um you know, I take this out of it, uh, take the a BC out, and uh, just ran it directly off the um, the receiver and there, and nothing was working. Tried a different uh, ESC, and nothing would run. Um, in the end, I gave it a bit of a tweak, and I think it was just a wee bit bound up in there because um, it just started working again. So that's cool. But yeah, when you really want something to go and you put a lot of effort into it and then it just suddenly uh, cacks its decks. Yeah, it can be quite frustrating and, and sometimes you do have to just walk away from it for a sec to, to to cool your jets because otherwise you tend to just rush into things and start tearing things apart when you don't need to. It's just, you just got to be methodical when you're um, going through the testing process. Eliminate one thing at a time. And only one thing, because if you do too much at once, you, you're still scrambling, you don't know what's broken. So, um, yeah, that's all good now. It's, it's happy. Um, everything's running the way it should, so now I can um, put this back in here. 
no problems and what I'll probably do then is just get all this stuff buttoned up underneath inside the cow I think um, but I'll probably leave this video here at this stage uh, oh one thing I did figure out I got a scrap of lever here from the um I got a lever we we leave a cutout somewhere that go on the bottom of those um, little seats. So with this scrap here, what I'm going to do is put that up the back there behind the seats, so it comes down, and that'll cover up any of the wiring up behind there. So um, I think that's going to to fit the bill nicely, and it's a nice brown lever. It's an earthy colour. I think it'll match the um, the vehicle quite good. So that's good. That was a nice little idea to have today. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, put it together off camera, you don't need to see that happen again, and the next thing I'll probably be doing is attaching the uh, steering link here on the other side to the, uh, now that I've got my electrics all going and all that sort of thing, my, my neutral set for my servo, I can put the steering link in and, and uh, adjust the trim on that uh, as needed. I don't have the drive shaft in here yet, so I can uh, be testing things and pulling the trigger and it's not going to fly off the, the uh, bench. But um, once I get that on, on the other side, then it gives me pretty much an idea of what the uh, headers and the pipes will have to clear. On this side, they, it'll be these uh, horns. On the other side, it'll be the steering link that will get in the way. So... Um, we're heading towards that, which is going to be pretty exciting, I think. Got to put in the uh, the pipes to the radiator from the, the motor. Put those in yet. Detailing soon. I can put the distributor on here pretty soon. I don't want to run the wires down here yet until I've done the pipes, I think. So if I run these wires and cut them the wrong length, that's going to be really annoying, so... Uh, spark plug was. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for, for this one. Um, we'll leave it at that. I want to go and do something else now. I've had, I've, I'll, I'll put this back in, and, but I'm pretty keen to have, uh, jump on the CNC machine today. Actually, at some stage, I want to have a crack at milling aluminium, which I haven't done before. So, yeah, that should be fun. Anyway guys, cheers for watching, and um, next time you see this, I'll have the electrics in at least, and maybe the steering link, I think, and we'll be talking about um, detailing. So we're, we're very close, very close. Alright, cheers guys, I'll catch you later.